trauma but for me instead that blunt force trauma when I slipped and hit my head uh, my recollection is that the first idea for doing it as a stage musical came from Bob Smex's wife Leslie around 2005 uh, she'd been disappointed in some stage musicals that she'd seen based on movies and she said to us you guys ought to make Back to the Future into a musical and uh, Bob Zemeckis and I looked at each other and we said, hey. Shook something loose in me, some high fruit in the tree, and that's when I could see how fluid time can be. Four years ago, uh, uh, I received uh, uh, the audition for it, for a reading of it in the UK, and I was really excited. And so in my, um, in my bedroom, in, the, in my apartment in Los Angeles, um, we, I, I put on a, a, a funny old bathrobe and, um, and grabbed a lampshade and, um, to be the mind-reading device and uh, basically got started and sort of uh, uh, did it all. And so I loved the movie so much that it was, uh, it was really fun. I spent an afternoon just kind of putting together a, a tape and then I sang a really um, amusing song, which was uh, um, a Once in a Lifetime, I think, uh, the David uh, Byrne Talking Head song, which I thought was perfect for time travel. Gave me the connection after decades of rejection. I never really thought I'd get to see how well it works, it works, it works. All right, I can keep on boxing in a new kind of reduction because it works, it works, it works. <laughs> I found what I was searching for. It's called the flux capacitor. This is breakthrough scientific first. I've been involved with the show since the first workshop back in August of 2018. Wow, that seems like so long ago and just yesterday. Um, we've had five workshops slash labs. Um, and so to be in the rehearsal room now, it's mind blowing. It's a little bit overwhelming, but in a good way. I've been involved in it from the start. Uh, it's been a really sporadic process for the last two years. And um, I did one audition for the workshops and that's when they said you know we'd like you to workshop the role of Marty and then from then on it turned out that every single time I got called back to do the workshops those were my auditions. Well you know we've had the luxury of in, in exploring this uh, putting Back to the Future on stage of having uh, Bob Gale who created uh, the movie and wrote it and wrote the book to our musical here a lot so that's been really kind of fun to, to have our sort of uh, the oracle here in case we have any questions. Um, but it's been a great uh, treat to, uh, to reinvent the show and to both uh, honor all of its uh, amazing moments and, and so that the fans of the movie will, will know where they are and what's happening, but also to put it in this entirely new form of a musical. So we've added 13 songs, so now we have 16 songs, all of which are, are amazing songs by Glenn Ballard and a few of Huey Lewis and the News songs. And uh, we've, we've reinvented it and yet kept all of its uh, greatest uh, attributes, we hope. Obviously, we wanted to have Doc do a celebratory number when this time travel experiment works. That, that's a given. There are two other movies in the franchise, um, but the musical is based on Back to the Future, the original one. I'm not on stage for one scene in the entire show. But that's what I signed up for, and that's what I want it to be, and that's what it should be. You know, Marty's the audience's eyes, and when this job came around, I said to myself, I have to be it. I have to be. And I, I just worked as hard as I could to, to get here to this point. M Marty McFly, as everyone knows, uh, is, a, is a rock and roller. And so a, a lot, in musicals, it's really nice to have a, a somewhere in this something having to do with music. As everybody knows too, we're, we're straddling two different uh, eras and both uh, happen to be amazing eras of music. So we have 55 and 85, so we get to do with two different musical styles. So that too, for an audience, uh, both young and old, uh, can, really, um, can really dig it. It's full on, you have uh, 1950s jive and, and, and um, the Lindy Hop, um, up to the 80s break dancing and um, there's a top hat number. Um, it's just full of the energy that you would expect from Back to the Future. Um, and Chris Bailey has done a wonderful job setting and staging the numbers and making an old man, old man like me dance. Hey, hey, hey. 
the DeLorean. Oh, when I got in that car, I, I, I was like, no, I don't know, I don't know what to do. It was so exciting, and to get to sit in it eight times a week, amazing.